Uh, so I have the BIOS here set up. Um, this is the AMI BIOS, or otherwise known as American Megatrend Incorporation. Um, see, it's version 2.11.1210 currently. Um, now the core version you see right here is 4.6.4. So this is just some of the basic information that we have here. Um, and then you have the project date, so when it actually compiled there. Let's see. So what I have here is the it you know, tells you how many uh, how much memory you have, uh, which is uh, 4,096 megabytes or about four gigs. Um, DDR3 1600 mega clock megahertz clock. And this is the main page, so this is what you'll uh, you should expect to see when you go into your BIOS. Now we'll go to performance, and then you have three tabs that you can open up, and uh, you know, and there'll be subtrees under there. Um, you have the GP, uh, CPU GPU configuration, you have the memory configuration, and you have the voltage configuration. And um, this is where you're going to be doing uh, your main, you know, be change the settings that we're gonna you know use. Uh, if you're going to be overclocking, this is what you're going to use. Um, so if we go to the first tab, you have the different um, settings here. You have the graphics core ratio limit, you have the graphics uh, voltage, um, and internal PLL volt over voltage, uh, turbo ratio override, and the host clock control, and then the override. So this is the Basically, this is the amount that you want to overclock to. Um, you can set that up to 300 megahertz. Um, right now, it's actually uh, changed. Um, this setting, or all these settings, are um, for overclocking, which will be um, done in the full review on over at, over on the website. And as you can see, I believe originally the stock settings were. Uh, 37, 36, 35, 34 um, from bottom to top. Right now it's at 47. And the base clock uh, at default is 100, or excuse me, uh, 10,000. And the, the, while it's defaulted, turbo mode is actually disabled. Um, as you may know, Sandy Bridge uses the turbo, it, it overclocks from the turbo, using the turbo, so this is what you get when you enable it. Now if we go to memory configuration, uh, this is for your your RAM. Um, so you can use the XMP profile if you want to get a slightly better overclock. Um, if you don't feel like changing um, numbers, make sure making sure it's stable and all that. You can use these profiles here. Uh, you have the memory multiplier, so that's for your. You can change the settings depending on. So what you can change it to different um, settings for you know your, your clock speed for your RAM. Uh, mine, the one that I'm using is at 16, so that's what we have at here. Um, and then here's some other settings that you can change that pertain to uh, memory here uh, with the motherboard. Okay, so now we have the voltage configuration. Um, here is also some things that you uh, will change if you are planning to overclock. Um, most of these settings are all um, default settings, with the exception of the C CPU VWM frequency, which is, I believe was at 340, and we should change to 380 here. Um, th these are all the same. Um, these are not the same. Uh, this was changed from 1.5, or it was actually it was changed from auto to 1.65. Um, the V core was also changed. Uh, it was also from, I believe, it was also auto. So most of these settings were also auto. This was um, also changed as well. The default is 1.1. So now we go to advanced. Um, there's some other settings. You got your PCI. You got your PCI settings. You can change that. Uh, your ACPI, your CPU configuration, so you have those um, static configuration. So right now it's in RAID mode, so that you can use the SRT technology. 
and here are the certain drives I have. Uh, you can also actually you can also change the modes ID HCI mode or disabled. You have USB, so you can change different settings here for that pertain to USB as well. Um, there's more settings down here. Uh, these are all st uh, default settings, so unless I mention it, they're all default. So you got the I/O configuration as well. Hardware, ha uh, hardware monitor. So this tells you your motherboard's um, temperatures of each same thing. The fan speed, of, uh, although these don't show it there. Um, your voltages. You go down here. These are some settings for your fan, the CPU fan. And this is the onboard device. So these are the um, different devices that are on the motherboard built in. So you have your SATA 3 uh, or 6 SATA 6 gigabit um, ports. That you set it to different settings to so enable it, disable, or auto. Stop that auto is the SATA 3. You can use either RAID or HCI. Your LAN gigabit uh, port. And then your USB 3.0 uh, controller card or controller on the motherboard so you can also, also change that your Bluetooth uh, your temperature used to be your temperature and your Azalea HD audio now here's the uh, north and south bridge uh, of the chipset in your BIOS um, as you can see it tells you the memory that it's being using which slot so I'm using it in for for a dual channel and uh, at default this will be defaulted to disabled. This will be actually on IGD or the integrated uh, graphics for integrated graphics and um, PEG is for your discrete device. So right now we're going to boot with our, our uh, discrete graphics card. IGD memory has not changed so the stock at 250 you can change it to different, different uh, sizes. Render standby, PEG Force Gen 1, and your detect non compliance device. So, you know, any devices that, that are normally not supported, you can you can enable that to kind of help compatibility. So, here you have your boot tab. Um, these are just some settings you can change. You know, how long, how, how many seconds before it times out and just goes. Uh,